What do you expect to look different as we watch the Cowboys play on Monday night? No Dak, it'll be Andy Dalton. What will look different? I expect the entire offense to look different. I expect it to be executed differently. I think you can try to call the same plays, but when you don't have the same pieces, it just doesn't work the same. If you're a pork lover and you love bacon cheeseburgers and they put turkey bacon on it, it's still going to kind of be the same thing, but it's going to taste a little different. And that's <laughs> what we're doing here. We have a lot of the same pieces, but you're changing out Andy Dalton. And I know all the time when we talk about Dak Prescott and the type of contracts that he wants, we always compare him to the Patrick Mahomes or Russell Wilson's and say, well, he's not as talented as those guys. But it doesn't mean he's not supremely talented and he's much more talented than Andy Dalton is. My favorite basketball offense of all time was the triangle offense. But it looked a lot different when Michael Jordan was running it and when Kobe Bryant was running it than when they weren't. And so even though you have all of these wide receivers and you have this great running back and you think Andy Dalton is a former starter who can do some of the th same things, he cannot. This offense takes a significant step back for me and this team does as well and they're going to need a whole lot of points to beat the Arizona Cardinals with the way this defense plays and I don't think Andy Dalton can get it done. Well, I mean that really is the question. I, the the over-under on this game is 55 on Monday night and Bart you watch the Giants play week in and week out right? Yeah. Their offense is not good. <laughs> they scored 30 on the Cowboys last week and had two touchdowns called back. So how many points do the Cowboys need to score to win this game? Well, I think they need to score about 24 points. But listen. 24 really, points? Listen, and, and this is why they 24 need to score 24. Boy? 24. 24 what? points. Listen, I'm gonna, let me explain. Let me show my work. Let you me better you double that. What, 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 what Ezekiel Elliott needs to do is pull his shirt up and say, feed me. Because, listen, what they're doing <laughs> on defense is negligent. What they're doing on defense. Listen, they're, under Dak Prescott, they're only running the ball 20 times. Listen, you either coach and allow it to happen what's going on defense. They need to protect this defense from itself. Because I tell you what, it is horrible. And I've been in a Mike Nolan defense. It takes a lot of – football acumen and it takes a lot of guys that know how to communicate and have anticipation of what happens when shifts and motions happen so to protect them you have to feed the beast limit the possessions in the game and, and take the air out of the ball and the only way you can do that and the only way you can create windows for Andy Dalton to throw through is to feed the beast and I understand that you're missing a whole bunch of offensive linemen hell go heavy packets listen it's a great thing to do is punt punt is a great thing that's how you gain the hidden yardage go ahead Merck Bart, Go ahead, Mark. Bart. <laughs> Ryan, Ryan, I, I, I'm still in your lines here, but come on, man. Bart, they got three <laughs> missing starters on the offensive line. <laughs> it don't matter. Did you matter. see that four-yard gain that Zeke had to get? He had to break like seven tackles. This is the reason why Dak was playing so well, because they couldn't run the ball. They're down by 20 points consistently. He has to throw for 400 yards. There it is. And five Mark, you have week. one playing some of the ugliest football out. in, in the world. Out. They get wiped off the map. They'd be the Airs, uh, They'd be the Atlanta Falcons right now, 0-5 or whatever they are, firing their coach already. I'm dead serious. Dak had to play like Superman or these guys don't even have a chance. Watch what I tell you. They have to commit to running the ball. Punting is a good thing. That's how you get the they hit yards. They can't run the you ball. You have to keep them. You have to run. Listen, what did Rex always say to us, Merck? You was there, damn it. He said it's not Bro, about the yards. Our, it's about the offensive line. <laughs> you know why that was? Because your we defense was pro great. Offensive line. And this one stinks. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.